the celebration of Holy Eucharist Rite 1 for Monday in the first week of Lent. It begins with the penitential order on page 319 in the Book of Common Prayer. Bless the Lord who forgiveth all our sins. Seeing that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent. According to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly and righteous and sober life to the glory of our holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of your sins, true amendment of life, and forgiveness in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, make speed to help thy servants who were assaulted by manifold temptations. And as thou knowest their several infirmities, lest each one find thee mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. Yahweh spoke to Moses, he said, Speak to the whole community of the sons of Israel, and say to them, Be holy, for I, Yahweh your God, am holy. You must not steal or deal deceitfully or fraudulently with your neighbor. You must not swear falsely by my name, profaning the name of your God. I am Yahweh. You must not exploit or rob your neighbor. You must not keep back the laborer's wage until the next morning. You must not curse the dumb or put an obstacle in the blind man's way, but you must fear your God. I am Yahweh. You must not be guilty of unjust verdicts. You must neither be partial to the little man nor overawed by the great. You must pass judgment on your neighbor according to justice. You must not slander your own people and must not jeopardize your neighbor's life. I am Yahweh. You must not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. You must openly tell him, your neighbor, of his offense. This way you will not take a sin upon yourself. You must not exact vengeance, nor must you bear a grudge against the children of your people. You must love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, escorted by all the angels, then he will take his seat on the throne of glory. All the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate men one from another as the shepherd separates sheep from goats. 
He will place the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you whom my father has blessed. Take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you made me welcome. Naked, and you clothed me. Sick, and you visited me. In prison, and you came to me. Then the virtuous will say to him in reply, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and make you welcome, naked and clothe you, sick or in prison, and go to see you? And the king will answer, I tell you solemnly, insofar as you did this to one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it to me. Next he will say to those on his left hand, Go away from me with your curse upon you to the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you yet never gave me food. I was thirsty, and you never gave me anything to drink. I was a stranger, and you never made me welcome, naked, and you never clothed me, sick and in prison, and you never visited me. Then it will be their turn to ask, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked or sick or in prison, and did not come to your help? Then he will answer, I tell you solemnly, insofar as you neglected to do this to one of the least of these, you neglected to do it to me. And they will go away to eternal punishment, and the virtuous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The reading from Leviticus ends with the second of the summary of the law that Jesus gave um, in answer to questioners, what is the great commandment? Jesus said, love God with everything you have and love your neighbor as yourself, as Leviticus says. Leviticus gives us a whole roster of ways that we are to live justly in community, one with another. And Jesus continues this dialogue, continues this instruction with this parable of the last judgment of how we are to care for one another. And where Leviticus would say that we love our neighbors as ourselves, we care for one another because it is a good thing to do being in community, Jesus completes that. Jesus fulfills it. Jesus takes it even deeper and says that when we are in right relationship one with another, we are in right relationship with God. We are in right relationship with the Son of God, with Jesus. When was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you or not? Jesus said, insofar as you did or you didn't, you did or didn't to me. Lent can be burdensome. Lent can be a time when we feel we have to give up so much or take on so much. And readings like this can remind us of all of the burden, if you will, of what it is to be not only a decent human being, but more importantly, to be a disciple, a follower of Jesus. Here is yet one more list and litany of things that we have to do or else. And it can be exhausting, especially for those who are compassionate and giving and who live into this. Sometimes there is a thing of compassion fatigue, one more thing to do, and it can be brutal. I've read reports of medical personnel in this time of pandemic who are just plain worn out from their good and decent care of the patients of the people who come to them. I read and hear stories of teachers, of educators who are just bone tired from the extra way that they have had to reach out and to care for students who are scattered on screens throughout their district. And here scripture gives us one more list of things we need to May we be gentle with ourselves this Lent and with this list. One of the blessings of living into our Christianity fully year-round is that these sorts of things become for us habit, become rule of life, become way of being. So that when we come to this season of Lent, if we are already doing this, it is not so much adding one more thing to our list of burdens and duties. It is reminding us of the grace that God has given us throughout the year to live justly and rightly, not only to be in right relationship one with another, but to be in right relationship with God. 
So if this describes you, if you are living a life that by and large is taking care of one another and taking care of Jesus and knowing this congregation and the people who worship and serve here, I believe that to be true, then read these scriptures, hear them more as an affirmation of what you are already doing. And if you realize in this penitential season that there are times when we do fall short, don't feel you have to take everything on this minute. Work on it a bit at a time. God is patient and loving. God knows our capabilities. God knows our capacities. God desires our efforts and our faithfulness. But God does not ask of us a perfection that is more than we can give. Lent can be a time to work slowly into a new practice, into a new understanding, into a new devotion for God as we see God in our fellow humanity. However we find ourselves on this first Monday of Lent, whether we are active doers in the kingdom or we are those who are falling a bit behind, may we remember God's grace and love and mercy throughout and God's patience with us and God's desire constantly to call us back into right relationship one with another and with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church in the world, responding, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, who in thy holy word has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all people. Receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church and the vestry, staff, and people of this parish with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Skip, our consulting bishop, Dan, our rector, and Joseph, our seminarian, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, especially to this congregation here present in person and online, that with meek hearts and due reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. We beseech thee also, so to rule the hearts of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, especially Joseph, President of the United States, Gretchen, Governor of Michigan, and Sheldon, Mayor of Flint, that they may be led to wise decisions and right actions for the welfare and peace of the world. Lord, in thy mercy, Hear our prayer. Open, O Lord, the eyes of all people to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that, rejoicing in thy whole creation, they may honor thee with their substance and be faithful stewards of thy bounty. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who, in this transitory life, are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to grant us grace so to follow the good examples of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph the Worker, her spouse. St. Paul the Apostle, and of all thy saints, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. 
Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to St. Paul's today. It is good that we are together in this technological way that, uh, that God has blessed us with. As I prepare the altar for Holy Communion, know that this is one way, uh, perhaps the chief, the principal way, that we are brought into right relationship one with another and with God. And it is how we are strengthened then to do those things out in the world that God would have us do to serve the least in our community and in doing so, serving Christ. When it's time for communion, even as you are worshiping God with us electronically online this morning, um, the gift and the grace of the sacrament is yours. When it's time for communion, accept Jesus' invitation to enter your hearts spiritually, to forgive you, to bring you into right relationship, and to send you into the world to do what God would have you do. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us and offering it a sacrifice to God. Continue with Eucharistic Prayer 1, page 333. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to you. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who was in every way tempted as we are, yet did not sin by whose grace we are able to triumph over every evil, and to live no longer unto ourselves, but unto him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the house. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 
Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness, vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that, by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose sovereignty is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. Continuing on page 339, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.